Russia has equipped its kamikaze drones with SIM cards from Ukrainian mobile operators to improve their targeting capabilities, Business Insider reports citing British military expert Jack Watling. According to him, SIM cards in Shahed-136 are used in two ways. First, triangulation from the bearings of mobile base stations is an additional navigation system for the drone. That is, it helps the drone better navigate the terrain. Second, connecting the drone to a mobile network gives the Russians a cheap, direct communication system with the drone, receiving telemetry data from it during flight, such as the exact location and time of its downing. This data could be useful in planning subsequent strikes. There is certainly something quite suspicious about a mobile phone that is traveling at 350 kilometers an hour, and so that behavior can be tracked. And SIM cards identified as being used for such malicious purposes can be cut off, says Watling. However, this is only possible if the mobile operator has effective communication channels with security services, the analyst notes. According to Watling, the Russians have been using this tactic since at least late 2023, when it first became publicly known that 4G modems had been found in downed drones. Cell phones and related technology have played a role on both sides of the war, with Russia and Ukraine using enemy signals to aid in their targeting and strikes. Cellular data, for instance, can be used to pinpoint the location of large troop gatherings, which can then make soldiers vulnerable to attacks. Some militaries are trying to rein this behavior in. Russia, for instance, has repeatedly, albeit unsuccessfully, tried to get a handle on this problem. And recognizing the challenge, US Army officers have also been warning American forces that bringing personal devices to a future fight could have serious consequences. However, Watling argued militaries shouldn't view phones solely as threats. Soldiers should plan to leverage the advantages of these networks and be properly informed about the associated risks and accompanying mitigations, he said. Used properly, mobile phone networks can help militaries to hide in the noise, distribute critical data and deconflict with civilian authorities. An explosive wildfire raced toward the Southern California mountain community of Wrightwood Wednesday and authorities implored residents to leave their belongings behind and get out of town. Several people heeded the evacuation order that was issued for the community of about 4,500 in the San Gabriel Mountains east of Los Angeles. The bridge fire, which grew tenfold in a day and had burned 75 square miles as of early Wednesday, is now the largest of three major wildfires burning in Southern California, endangering tens of thousands of homes and other structures. The fire sprung to life during a triple-digit heat wave that finally broke Wednesday. The cooler temperatures brought the prospect of firefighters finally making headway against the flames. Other major fires were burning across the West, including in Idaho, Oregon and Nevada where about 20,000 people had to flee a blaze outside Reno.